good, mi gente. Happy get in line. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Are y'all getting in line for fall? I know the summer's not over yet. It's not officially over, but people are counting down. I refuse to count down, but when I see my, my birds flying south and my nights are getting cooler and the sun is going down earlier, I can't help but be anxiety up for what's coming to New York soon. Anywho, what's going on? I hope everybody's having a great day. We are here to rant off. Tell me who or what needs to get fucking lined this week. We got a lot going on. I know a lot of us are doing our thing and getting our last summer days in. I know I am. But uh, we got to some people to get in line, right? So first, I want to say unemployment. I know you've been holding us down almost two years with no situations, you know, like really trying to be hard with us. But did you have to really end? Like, I get nervous. Because unemployment held us down and now it's just ended and now there's tons and tons and tons of people that have no work. So I'm trying to figure out what is the next step for unemployment. I mean, we need to get in line, literally, because it's about to hit. It's about to hit. <laughs> Holidays are coming. Um, Rikers just put out a release of inmates. Um, yeah, it's about to get serious. So I want us to get in line, be prepared. Be smart, stay away from the streets as much as possible, be with your families, and I don't know, let's start looking for work, let's start looking for an outlet to bring in some income. Unemployment, get in line, right before the damn holidays too? The year didn't even finish, you couldn't even finish 2021? Shh. Which brings me into cuffing season. Which one of you foul, corny individuals are looking for cuffing? The tryouts and applications and all. are you guys kidding me are we still doing this cuffing season i get it i've been single i know what it's like and i'm not against it but for the individuals that are kind of keeping people around just for that don't really care about you or really like you because you're just for the season y'all gotta get in line y'all the corny ones y'all the played out washed up people no one probably want to lay up with you anyway get in line exactly Texting 101. So you know how we all converse and communicate through text, video chats, but you know, mostly it's us texting, right? We argue texting, we talk business texting, we say hi texting, we heal each other by texting, we love up on each other by texting, we have sex through texting. I mean, everything's texting, right? But has anyone actually like sat here and said, okay, this is texting 101 etiquette, you know? Um, texting is not a clear way of understanding or communicating with one individual or another individual because we all have different perceptions, right? So when you hit me up with a text, I may read it a complete different way and the whole conversation will not go as planned because of the, the two perspectives that are texting with each other. And we often sit here analyzing text, reading between the lines of text, afraid to call for rejection so we text we do everything on text guys let's find another way to communicate that it's clear with tone attitude and what you're saying than typing please get in line with that okay okay Kanye West has made my rant again this Gemini does not want to give up, but I want to put him in line because he thinks that he is the best shit and he has his moments. But, um, you know, competing with Drake and his album drop, you know, you cutting people off from the album that thought they were going to be on the album. You keep doing like all these premiere listening parties and concerts and the album just keeps being pushed back, pushed back. And every time the album kind of comes forth again, there's being changes. I get it. Production. I get it. But you got beef. Mr. Chris Brown ain't with you. Uh, you putting up Drake's address, supposedly, on Instagram or Twitter. That's a no-go. You messing with people. You're using people's lyrics or melody without letting them know, giving them their rights, paying them out. Like, Kanye West, please get in line. By the time your album comes out, ain't nobody want to hear it. And I have to say, what up, Drake? Congratulations. 
um, we all know what you've been coming with all these years but I think this album for you that dropped on Friday has put you in a new space of respect as an artist as a rap artist and congratulations I mean the first day you did like eight point something million streams just in a couple of hours so that says a lot but I have to tell you to get in line too because I wasn't crazy about your album there's probably maybe about four to maybe five songs at that that maybe I can comprehend what you're speaking of or I can rock out as a female or even if I don't I want to be a little gritty there's some songs there too but I've also noticed that the the, the songs that are kind of like bouncy it's about things that I don't really care to hear about. I don't care that girls like girls or girls want to be with girls. I don't care about that. <laughs> I really don't. Um, who's sexy? Okay, fine. Yeah, you Jake, you keep doing that. <laughs> but it was a cool, it was a cool album. It was not my favorite. I have to say Nas, Nas. Yeah, get in line if you haven't listened to Nas or if you even not a Nas fan. Also. People that stand too close. People that sit too close. People that want to come up on you too close. There's distance. We did COVID for almost two years now. And we still have people in your space. Why? I get that in other countries. Maybe everybody is on top of each other. And it's like a safety net when you get to the States. But let me tell you something. The United States, New York, especially the BX don't like to be crowded up on if i'm in a bar having a drink and i say something to you that does not give you the right to be on me hovering over me when i don't know you when i'm at the beach you should not come with your five kids your cooler a tent and all the other stuff and sit right next to me when you got the whole freaking beach to sit on if there's an empty train why are you sitting right next to me please get in line so Oh, so aggravating and it's like you want to sometimes get up and remove yourself but that's not fair too because you picked your space just respect people's space guys give people space especially if you don't know them so my men out here that are the man of the house are you really the man of the house or are you the man in the house there's a difference check yourself and figure out why are you the man of the house versus the man in the house get in line one more can we stop calling people friends when they're not really friends people that we like people that we have relationships with we call them friends they're not friends when the relationship or the attraction or the situation is done with do you hear from them when they need space, when they need personal time, when they need to just disappear, do you hear from them? But they were your friend, right? And that's what sucks, that people use this friendship word and it keeps the other person there because you want to be a friend, right? We're friends, I'm going to reciprocate. Even if you don't, I'm going to reciprocate because we're friends. Hopefully that's what you do when you're ready. There are people out there that will use that friendship because they're in your space. They're telling you your, their, their stuff. But when that season's over or they're going through something, are they checking up on you to make sure that you're good? Or is it all about what's going on with them? Friendship is two ways. No matter what you're going through in life, you will always check in on a friend at least once a week. Yo, I feel like crap. I'm not with it. I'm in mourning. I'm in healing. I'm busy. I'm working. I just want to check in with you to make sure you're good. Be friends with people that want to be friends with you and be not friends with the people that are not your friend. You got that? Get in line, guys. Happy Wednesday. Be X in the house. Love you guys, The Essence. Stay tuned. The Essence is getting some ideas, some brewing, some new ideas for the show. I want to change it up. I'm asking opinions on what segments you guys would like to see me do. It can be outdoors, it, it, anything. I'm actually thinking about something with this texting thing, too. Um, because I can imagine how many stories people have regarding a text message that probably has turned into something completely outrageous by the time both people are, you know, communicating through the text because of what we're thinking, just how it just goes wrong. 
But anyway, have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your week. It's your girl, The Essence. Get in line and uh, be good. Love you guys. So let's go grab a seat and you better get in line.